Hey there, this is Tom from the 201R Entrepreneurship class. I'm going to be giving you a brief run through of what we did in class and the steps that you need to follow basically to get to the end point of a file that is ready for print. So we talked about this uh, website thingiverse.com as a place that you can find ready to print files. Um, you can pretty much search anything that you want on this uh, this site. So here we have an apple, we can download this file, but we could equally uh, go find a, uh, a football. And there you go, you have, in fact, that kind of looks pretty fun. Uh, this uh, screw cap football that perhaps uh, you put something in uh, maybe for Easter or whatever you want to do, I don't know. Uh, but that you could equally download that as well as the Apple. The Apple is something which I've uh, previously downloaded and what we're going to use is uh, that Apple and then modify it. And again, whatever you choose to download, uh, you will then modify and then we're going to print that modified piece out just to give you a little bit of a hands-on experience with 3D printing and showing that it's actually not something that is uh, so out of reach and that you can do it, I can do it, anyone can 3D print, anyone can actually 3D design as well. So this is the program um, that we're going to be using, uh, it's called Tinkercad, you can find it at tinkercad.com, sign up for a free um, account and when you log in you're actually going to come to a page that looks like this and all you do is click click create new design and it's going to give you a blank canvas uh, that you can play around with you can uh, make your own things uh, in it um, and uh, you can create a design that way or uh, you can import the the files that you have chosen to download so we have this apple here uh, ready for download and then modify that file. Either way is fine, um, either way is also uh, easy. I uh, found that actually creating something in this program isn't actually that too, isn't too hard at all. Um, so here we have the Apple, uh, we want to make a modification to it so perhaps our little story is that there's a worm in the Apple and so here we have a hole that we can put through it uh, so perhaps we place it just about there and let's group that together and that is going to make a hole through the apple like that. Um, again I don't know what you would uh, use this apple for, maybe it's just something fun, I don't know, maybe this is something that you could put a pen in the apple, it becomes a pen holder. Um, whatever you choose to do, it doesn't have to be functional, um, it could just be for fun. Um, so go crazy, go wild, enjoy, because this is a really fun process. Uh, when you're finished making the modifications to whatever it is that you have chosen to either design or import, then we need to export. So you click this export tab up here and then this download tab and then make sure that it's the it can either be everything in the design or the selected shape. So if you have made um, two things in one and you go to click export, then it's only going to give you the option to click everything in the design. If they're not connected, however, you don't want that. Um, so you don't want to take the whole design. You just want to take what you want. So we only want this apple. So we go to export the selected shape and you have these two options here, OBJ or STL. Um, and then this for laser cutting, but we don't need that. So this is only for 3D printing. We don't want to go with the OBJ. So even if you've downloaded an OBJ, that's fine uh, to put into uh, this program here, but you want to export it as an STL, and this is going to make our lives much easier when we go to print. Um, when we have uh, that file, and again, they they give these um, new 
if you create a new design, they give them these kind of strange and funky names. So Powerful Crunk is the name of our um, download right there. Powerful. Crunk. I don't know why they do it. I think it's just their idea of some fun. Um, but when we have that file, we can then go to the next step, which is getting that print ready um, file that works on our Dremel 3D printer. So when you come into the uh, Dremel uh, suite, I guess, uh, and sign up for your account, it's going to put you on a page, a landing page like this when you've signed in. You want to click go to Print Cloud and then uh, click My Files. Um, you can easily as well just type this in, My Files. You may be wondering why is he typing it in if it's clickable. The link is broken on my computer. I don't know why. Uh, then click Upload New, choose File, and then you just want to search for uh, the file. So it was under a powerful crunk. Uh, there you go. So we'll choose that. It's now uploaded. We click Save and go to Files. And the next step is to lay this out. So where do we want it to print on the print bed? How big do we want it to be? So here's the um, the file as uh, or the preview of the print as it would look like. This is the whole bed, uh, so it's going to take up this much space on this bed, and wherever you put this is where it's going to print out on. Uh, the, uh, there's a couple constraints to this. You can't put it half on and half out. It will then give you this error message that it says the the object is out of the box. You also can't put it floating in the air because um, even if this is uh, centered uh, you can't put it floating in the air because there's nothing for it to print on the print can't start halfway up in the air it's just gonna make a mess uh, so you want to make sure that this is on the bed and perhaps that it's centered if you're gonna put multiple pieces in your project then um, you, you lay them out but because this and this in this assignment is only one, um, we just want it in the middle. Uh, you can do things like scale it. Uh, so we can take it and we can drop it down to perhaps 50% of the size. And so there you go. It's, it's this tiny apple. Again, it's jumped up a bit. So we want it on the bed and in the center. Uh, you can also do things like rotate it. Uh, this is something which uh, might not make any sense. Why would you rotate it? Um, but when it comes to printing certain things out, uh, there's a best way to do it. So if you look at this at the moment, printing it upside down on the stalk is going to mean that there's actually not much of a base for this. Um, and the program's going to have to create a bunch of supports. So it's going to actually take more material. So we don't want it that way up. Um, so there we go. It's just as it was up there. Uh, so the next and final thing is to save and slice. So when you're done uh, with the scaling, when you're done with all of those other things, we then click that. It brings you into this little dialog box and you have an option. And these are the options that you want to uh, select. So there's a couple of different printer types. Uh, we want the 3D45 idea, idea Builder. Um, there's a couple other ones. If you select those, it's going to give the wrong settings and it's not going to print out as well. This is what we're really, really interested in. This is the material that it's going to be printed out in. Um, and what we want to do is print it out at standard eco ABS settings. And it gives us uh, these settings here. Um, this is the infill density slider. So if you slid this all the way up, it's going to be 100% solid. Um, but we don't want that. We want it to be around 20, 25, something like that. Uh, this is going to make sure that our print is actually really fast and uh, because we have a lot of you printing that it's not going to take uh, three weeks to print it's going to take only a couple of hours um, so once you have it at this density and make sure that supports are clicked on um, this is on by default I believe you then just click slice this is going to then uh, spit out a file um, and it's going to give you a print time and this one's only going to take 17 minutes that's fairly quick and that is what we want um, so anywhere between um, 10 15 minutes all the way up to an hour and that's all great 
um, really we can print anything at any uh, time frame we have two hours here um, this one was an hour 19 I know that I've uh, printed out some uh, bigger stuff before that's taken as much as 15 hours but really we don't want to jam the, the printer in because of the, the class so we're going to be printing uh, something that's fairly small the files that you will need to submit to Canvas however are just these STL files you don't need to submit the uh, these uh, DREM files at all you can if you want just for uh, for fun to say that you've done it um, and for that experience but you don't need to um, this if we were to download this file and put it on a memory stick it would be ready to print 100% but because we're gonna put a whole bunch of uh, your prints onto one bed uh, we, we just want these STL files so have fun enjoy the modification the uh, even looking for stuff on Thingiverse is really fun to do to just explore what's already there there's been some really amazing uh, creations that people have made and so just go have some fun enjoy it um, this process of modifying is also really fun too uh, so happy printing everyone and if you have any questions you can um, email me at uh, closeuptom at yahoo.co.uk or you can come into uh, the, the office and you can ask questions to me in person as well have a great one enjoy it I will see you soon.